Hi there. Today on Final Cut Pro Basics, we're going to talk about organizing your folder. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how I usually organize my folders and you can take this template and use it as you like. So first, uh, we'll create a folder for the project itself. So let's call it Final Cut Pro X video because that's the video we're making right now. So we're going to go into this folder and I usually have a template for this. So I'll create this section of folders and then I'll just duplicate them whenever I need. But for the sake of the video today, we're going to create each one of these folders. Uh, but just bear in mind that this can become a template for you if you like. Number one, I like to create a library for my library videos uh, complete for whenever they are complete footage, uh, photos, there's photos, assets, sound, music. If you have graphics or anything like that, you can create more folders if you feel like you need to, or if you're doing social media cuts and you like to keep that separate, that's a great way as well. I'll usually, if I have logos or anything like that that I'm dealing with, I'll just throw them in assets. So within this library, usually how it would work is if you're importing footage, let's say you shot in a Panasonic GH5, inside footage I'll make a, a folder for the Panasonic GH5 or maybe a Canon 5D and I would have a folder for each camera. If you shot into multiple cameras, I will have a camera A and a camera B. I'll usually try and label the camera itself as well when I'm shooting so that I don't get confused where each shot is going. And when I'm importing into the folders, I will also call it A and B. So let's pretend this is some camera footage. Um, in this case, I don't have camera footage in here. Let's go here, let's pretend I shot this with, the, so that will go in there. Again, I'll pick up some music that I think might go out for the video, make sure that's in the music file. Uh, if I took any pictures or stills or anything like that, I'll have it here. Uh, depending on the project, if it's like a short film or something like that, I would have a behind the scenes uh, folder in here. The more organized this is, the faster your workflow would be. Also, if you're doing corporate videos, I like to have my stock footage here as well. So if this is a corporate, you would have something like stock footage. Uh, if you know you're using stock footage, I like to have those separate as well uh, because it can get very messy if you put it together with your own files. Most of my folders usually tend to look like this. If it's an ongoing client, I will have the year before the project as well, just so I can keep track of when projects are done. So even though we didn't really get too fat a cut here, I thought this was a very important first step. All right, thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you next week.